So factor by grouping. Anytime you have four terms is a good time to think about using factor by grouping. So here you see four terms here. You can really group this however you want. You can group this uh, like the first and second terms and then group those two terms or maybe you think that the first and third terms go together nicely. Um, you think about GCFs and, and what might go together nicely. Sometimes you have to try one, it won't work, and you'll try it another way. I'm just going to group the first two terms and then the next two terms. So I'm going to say uh, 6x cubed minus 9x squared. You always want a plus sign in between uh, the two uh, parentheses here. And that's where this gets a little tricky. Right now there's a minus sign in front of that term. Not in front of 3y, but only that term. So if you think about it, you could just take that and move it down here. Say that's negative 2xy plus 3y. Or sometimes what I'll do is I'll actually do this. I'll say plus a negative. And I kind of include the negative, attach it to that term, because that term is negative there, and then I move on. Now you want to take out the GCF here. So any GCF you see here, you want to take it out. So this would be 3x squared times 2x minus 3. Take out the GCF and here also, and as always, the leading coefficient should never be, never be negative. So I'm going to take out a negative GCF. I'm going to take out a negative uh, 1 as my GCF. Oh, sorry, negative 1y. Or negative y. And we get uh, positive 2x. And I said take out a negative, so this becomes minus 3. And the magic that happens here if you factor by grouping correctly, if it factors, then this parentheses will match this parentheses. And so what you do now, like we did earlier, you kind of look at this, look at this, and you see there's a GCF there. I'm going to take out the 2x minus 3 and factoring that out. What's left over, with the minus sign in between, will be put here. So we have 3x squared and minus y. You can see now this is factored. So we fact took four terms and factored it. Let's try one more. Um, let's try one more. So it's got four terms. So you could try to factor, um, you know, a, a different way. Let's just try, let's try the first and third terms together. Let's see what happens. So if we go x cubed, minus 3x plus, I always want a plus there, I mean this term and this term. So I'll say negative 2x squared plus 6. Take out the GCF going this way, so you have x times x squared minus 3. Take out the GCF here, which is a negative, because I don't want that leading coefficient positive, and then also a 2, so minus 2 times x squared, that sign's going to change, minus 3. And you want to see if those parentheses match. They do, so you are ready to uh, take out the GCF one more time. This GCF is x squared minus 3 times, let's see what's left over, x and negative 2, so x minus 2. And we have factored that. And that's how you do factoring by grouping.